While we know that there are many diseases that kill people, like cancer or heart disease, there is another group of disorders that affect people which don't necessarily kill you, but they really affect your quality of life. And this is disorders that affect your skeleton. About 2004, we were very fortunate as a group of scientists and clinicians. We got together and we were lucky to get funding from the UGC, the University Grants Council, under the Area of Excellence program to try and understand some basic mechanisms underlying these kinds of disorders. Major areas in our AOE program is to try to understand mutations uh, or uh, genetic variation that affects skeletal abnormalities. We tackle it from these two perspectives. One is from looking at rare diseases, the other is common disorders. The Area of Excellence program allowed us to look into the problem of intervertebral disc degeneration in human patients in a lot more detail. Through the genetics research, we have identified predisposing genes that may lead to disease degeneration, and this has significantly challenged the traditional beliefs of doctors and surgeons. Our group assembled the largest cohort in the world with MRI of the spine, and we proceeded to analyze the DNA from these subjects to find genetic changes that are associated with degeneration and we were able to identify three genes that are involved in this degeneration. A vitamin D receptor gene, a gene called asporin, and a gene called chondroitin 3 sulfotransferase. These discoveries involve collaboration with other research groups in Japan and in Finland. For the severe congenital disorders that affect children, we use mouse models which actually recapitulate some of these disorders. Uh, and also, we use human genetics to find the gene. And we were very fortunate to, for example, discover the gene that was essential for causing short digits and also short stature dwarfism. We also need to understand how normal bone is made. And so one of the very groundbreaking discoveries we made was that cartilage cells actually become bone cells. So this was a really important and exciting discovery and actually will change the textbooks. Knowing the genetic defects and also getting a better understanding of the disease is one thing. But what's really important for us is to let the community know about it. From this perspective, myself and other members of the AOE has helped to establish the first NGO for rare diseases of the skeleton. Uh, in Hong Kong. It's called the Little People of Hong Kong, where we bring all the patient group together uh, and let them know about what we find and, and so that they have a very clear and better understanding of the disease. So what next for the future? We are in a unique position in the world that we are the only ones that have this cohort of people that we've been following for more than 10 years so we can actually use their uh, follow them and determine what genes actually give predisposition to severity or onset of the degeneration. And also we think that it's important to understand why the cells in the intervertebral disc degenerate. That's also very important if we want to develop means of creating a rejuvenated disc in the future.